everybody. This is Pastor Susan and welcome to another day of devotions this week as we are considering how to cultivate community and be in unity with one another. And um, we've been looking at some virtues uh, that we want to live into. We talked about this week, we've talked about humility, we've talked about kindness, we've talked about um, lots of uh, gentleness. And now we're talking about, get ready for it, Patience. Patience. Okay, can I just can I just admit that this is the this is the prayer I never want to have to pray. <laughs> God, please give me patience because you know why, right? Once you pray that prayer, you're gonna have plenty of opportunities to put it into practice, to have it tried, to have it a challenge for you and for me. Um, and that's. I think especially patience is something that is harder and harder to accomplish in our lives because this world goes by so fast and we have so much that is available to us at, you know, the stroke of a, a key, you know, a key on the computer or, you know, on our phones or whatever. I, I was getting ready for our trip to the Holy Land and it was like every day I was going on Amazon and I was thinking about, well, do I need that? Boom, happened. Patience um, is, a, is a really important thing as we are thinking about not only, you know, how do we spend our money, but also our patience with each other. Our patience with each other. Um, I don't know about you, but I've been married for a long, long time. And I'm married to an amazing partner who is tremendously talented in so many different areas. And I find that um, while Ron is great at some things um, that I'm not great at, that I get impatient with him about other things. And so it is, it is a challenge that, you know, we've done this dance for 44 years now. Um, but both of us have had to be patient with each other. Have you ever had that in your relationships with, whether it's your spouse or your family members, or maybe even people that you're in the church with? And, and so here's a proverb that I want to share with you today that says something about patience. Listen to this. This is from Proverbs 14, verse 29. Whoever is slow to anger has great understanding, but one who has a hasty temper exalts folly. Ooh, that's really good. Listen to it again. Whoever is slow to anger has great understanding. That means patience brings great understanding. But the one who has a hasty temper exalts folly. So it, it kind of reminds me of the passage of scripture that talks about, um, you know, when uh, Paul is talking to, I think it's Paul. No, it's not Paul. One of the, one of the, you know, don't let the sun go down on your anger. You've heard that one before, right? Uh, be angry, but do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your anger. Because anger does not achieve the righteousness of God a lot of times. Now, sometimes anger can be a, a, a means by which you and I can be motivated into an action. But when it deals with um, people, when anger deals with relationships, anger is not it's not effective in human relationships. It may be effective in causing us to address some kind of injustice in the world, but by and large, anger does not serve our relationships well. And so um, today, again, I, I think we talked about yesterday, talked about, you know, before you re react to something that happens with someone, take a moment to take a breath. And remember that God has breathed life into you. And with that life, God gives us the ability to practice patience. Patience, because you know what? God's not finished with Ron Diamond or Susan Diamond or you yet. We're still a work in progress. And so let's treat one another that way, shall we? <laughs> 
shall we treat one another with the same kind of patience that God has with you and me? Oh my goodness, thank you God for being patient with me, for still working on me. There's this wonderful children's song, he's still working on me to make me what I ought to be. It took God just a week to make the moon and the stars, the sun and the moon and Jupiter and Mars. That's how the song goes. How loving and patient God must be. God's still working on me. Can we say that about each other? And can we trust that as we are patient, that God will be at work? There's where faith comes in. May it be so for you, May it be so for me. And today, ask God. Be careful, because you're going to get an answer to this. Ask God for patience. You'll have an opportunity to try it out. But you'll be doing it because you've asked God to be with you. May it be so in your life, and may it be so in mine this day. Amen and amen. Amen.